Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Aquarius friends and friends of Aquarius. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, Aquarius, I missed you guys. Thank you for your patience here. Um, I do have some messages that I went through in meditation, a couple oracle cards that were pulled, and then we'll get into the tarot, as we do. So, Aquarius, what I was given first, your... Your meditation here was, um, I feel like it was a little crunchy receiving the message, almost like um, it didn't seem like enough. Like I was wanting, I was wanting more of a message and there was less of a message being received. So there may be a bit of that kind of experience in your life currently where you're feeling like you're asking for more. Please sir, can I have some more? And you're just not getting more. Uh, especially in the vein of answers to something. So at first, all I was given was up to down. They just kept saying up to down, my team. And then I was shown this line that uh, I guess I can kind of show you here. Right there, if you can see that. Um, almost looks like it could be a heartbeat line. That's not how I would draw a heartbeat line because it's a little too even. But anyway, it reminded me of a heartbeat. And so I wrote down was Harpy. Um, the next thing that came through was Snow White, actually, the evil queen from Snow White and uh, the magic mirror. So the component about that that stood out was actually that scene where um, the queen was looking, was sending the huntsman out to get Snow White's heart. Uh, and he comes back with the heart of, what was it, a deer or something? Not Snow White. So I really feel like the message here so far is being drawn back to the heart. Um, your heartbeat, the heartbeat, like being in line with the planet's heartbeat, the galactic heartbeat. Let's see, let's see where this goes, you guys. I'm kind of curious. Like I said, I, I received that and I actually channeled it a few days ago and came back to it again today, asked for additional messages and spirit is just saying this, this is the message. Okay. So this is the message. Um, let's go ahead and get further into this. So a couple of Oracle cards came out in the blue angel Oracle. Mercurius is your first one. Mercurius. So this is volatility. This is a time of instability, and yet it is during this challenge that something magical occurs. An explosive event leads to a beautiful experience or realization, after which life will never be the same. Though fiery and intense, this can also be a positive period if you keep your cool. You may need to take the occasional step back to avoid adding further fuel to the flames. Observe and allow things to unfold as they will. It may not seem like it now, but all unfolds perfectly. Remember, blessings come in different ways. The universe was born through an explosion of love. So I kind of get the feeling actually reading through this um, back to the heart and meditation, I'm getting this conflict between what it is maybe the ego, the mind wants versus what it is that the heart wants. You guys may be mind-wise, ego-wise, asking for more answers, asking for more direction. And your heart's like, I'm just here for the journey. Like, let's just go. <laughs> let's just go. And I'll tell you where to go as we go there, right? But this isn't really the response that you want right now. It's not really bringing peace, okay? You're asking for more. You're asking for more. So Lightship Earth is the other one that came through here. And this is personal and planetary healing. So the Earth is a living consciousness currently being flooded with higher vibrational energies. These very same energies are flowing through you. Ah. In being aware of this, you will be better able to integrate these new energies. Keep an open heart and mind, and you will see this time as a joyful one. Do not allow yourself to be drawn into the fear that exists. This is a time of personal and planetary healing. You and the earth are moving toward higher states of awareness. Imagine the earth in your mind's eye. Send love and light to everyone, to every living thing, every blade of grass, and every atom of light. It's a lot of love. Send yourself love. Send love to your friends, your family, and those who have passed. Wish them all a happy return, for we shall all reappear in the future. And though this time will never come again, it will also never cease. So having an open heart and mind and having this be a joyful one rather than falling into the fear, that kind of leads me to this, uh, like I was saying, you guys are wanting, it's this fear response um, that is requesting more, more direction, more whatever, when the opposite is actually... Um, your solution to whatever's going on right now, keeping an open heart and an open mind, being present, taking it a step at a time. The messages are coming in, maybe just not at the, at the rate that you want them, right? Okay, 
So, um, Phantasma or uh, deck, excuse me, Phantasma Tarot. I'm going to start with here for your first deck. Spirit, what do we have here for Aquarius? Well, the moon just fell out. <laughs> Speaking of fears, you guys. So, um, well, that makes sense. Seems like we're kind of talking about some stuff that's bubbling up from, from deep within, fear-wise. What do we have here for Aquarius, please, Spirit? And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you are interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there's a link in the description of the video. There's a join button right next to the subscribe button as well. Page of Cups. I feel like there's a, there's a new offer coming in, you guys. A new way to love. Mm. Oh, I love that. Okay. A new way to love. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, personal readings are open and available if you're interested in that. There's a link in the description of my video to the website. Uh, feel free to check that out if you're interested. So Six of Pentacles here on the bottom. This is your hope. What you want. Six of Pentacles is that flow from inside to outside. When we need help, we allow that help to come through. We, we request that help. We see others in need. We give what it is that we can to help those in need. Um, I feel like primarily you guys may be in a position where you need some help in some way. And this is where the ego may be going into over overdrive. Rather than staying present with an open heart and an open mind, you may be trying to find a solution. Um, instead of focusing on how you want to feel. Because it's not really our job to, like I get, you know, sometimes we need to find solutions to things, but it's not our job to plan in that way. Our job as creators is to focus on how we want to experience life. And if you're noticing that you're veering away from experiencing life in that way, just come right back to center, okay? Get right back to thinking about how it is that you want to feel in life, okay? Not fear. <laughs> Not fear, because that's just going to bring more fear. So this is the Deviant Moon. Tarot we'll use for the second deck. Spirit, what do we have here for Aquarius? And this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. You are extremely intelligent and a co-creator here as well. Check out your rising moon, Venus, any other major placements in your chart for additional messages. So six of cups here at the bottom. This is your fear aversion. Um, I am kind of getting this is the past, all right? Could be um, inner child, could be a person from the past, a gift from the past. As far as a fear aversion, what I'm getting here is um, is a fear of lack. Something going on here in the past, like this is like a little puppet show here. The children are all happy. Um, I feel like there were better days in the past and there may be this pining for something that's happened in the past or a fear that you will just never feel that way again. Again, I'm brought back to focusing on how we want to feel, right? If that's how we're focusing on feeling, feeling afraid that we'll never feel a certain way again, you see how that's a bit of a conflict when it comes to manifestation? Yes. Okay. So let's get into your tarot messages here, you guys. <laughs> Death here to start. All right. Major transformation, you guys. And I do feel like you feel that too. <laughs> this is um, uh, Pluto energy. We have Pluto and Aquarius. Okay. This is Scorpio. Death all up in your sign, all right? We are in those phases where things are being illuminated as to maybe what is decaying, what needs to go, what's already dead, so that we can start moving more into a place of open mind and heart, like Lightship Earth is talking about, to allow this transformation to take place. I do feel like this is more of a spiritual one, regardless of what you're experiencing right now, if it's work, relationship, whatever, I am kind of getting this is coming back to a spiritual component. How are you flowing with the changes that are going on around us? Because it can be hard. It can be hella hard. So hang on. I feel like this is just um, being in your general here. Oh, and I love that. In this picture, it's like a phoenix skeleton bringing life into this human skeleton again, but there's a little heart in there. I don't know if you can see that. 
Heart seems to be a big message coming through, you guys. Being present and allowing that to stay open, okay? Um, Six of Pentacles comes in to clarify. And this is what you had in your hopes, what you want. So, like I said, Six of Pentacles is, uh, I feel like this is receiving help. I feel like someone's waving um, a white flag. Someone's shot out SO a flare for SOS. Um, and if that's you, I do get, I do get that it's really important not to continue to flail is what's coming through. Interesting. Like I'm seeing, that's kind of a ugly image too, but, um, like being wrapped up in barbed wire and the more that you try to escape that, the more damage that it's actually causing you. potentially in a serious way. Um, not that you're being asked to like not do anything about it. What I'm getting, especially with death coming through that this, like the, the voice here, the Phoenix is speaking life back into this situation. I feel like there's a need to express that you need help. Okay. Whether that is emotional attention, connection with somebody, um, financial help, Don't be afraid to not do this alone, okay? I feel like that's really important. So let's move into your good stuff here. Aquarius, you have Page of Wands that comes through here. I do feel like this is, um, this is an opportunity to get back to feeling good about where you are and what you're doing. But fortunately or unfortunately, <laughs> um, things are a bit choppy right now. This is getting back to a place of exuberance, of childlike excitement. This is my put me in coach card. Some of you may receive a letter from somebody that you haven't spoken to for a while. Do you feel like travel could be possible for some of you? But I see, I'm seeing like a shiny penny, like an old penny made shiny. Um, whatever this process of death is that you guys are going through, do not be afraid to ask for help. You don't need to do this on your own. Um, this is allowing you to get to a place of this childlike energy and wonder quicker. Okay. Ooh, a nine of cups comes through here too. Yay. So this is like wish fulfilled. I have a genie on this, in this imagery. This is um, a wish from the universe being fulfilled. Your personal satisfaction. <clears throat> in order to get in order to get to a place where you are feeling good on your own, there is a need to reach out and ask for help. Even if this is like to a, your spirit team, you guys. I think a lot of the time, uh, I mean, I do anyway, unless I'm remembering to do it things will happen i get out of you know practice with stuff i forget to ask my spirit team for help sometimes too i think there is an expectation that just like you're helping me right like we're doing this right um it's really really important to ask and ask you know what i mean like whatever it is that you need help with right now connection money bills like whatever it is okay don't be afraid to ask because I see that coming in um, and being fulfilled for you. And this taking a weight off of your shoulders. Allowing you to feel a lot more free. Yeah, I like that. I like that for you. So what you don't see coming here, um, what's in the dark? Your queen of wands. This is um, confidence, really. Queen of wands is an individual who does whatever they want. <laughs> they don't care what people think about it. I, I feel like being in the dark here, what you don't see is you getting back to this place. Um, like the six of cups here in your fear, there was that fear concern over, am I going to have situations where there are happy days again? Yes. <clears throat> yes, yes. You don't see this coming because there's a need for you to take step one right now, which is ask for help if that's what you need. 
Um, and if you're not in a position where you need, you need help right this second, like in the physical plane, like I said, I would always be asking for support from your team. With this death coming through, that Pluto and Aquarius energy, this is just telling me that you guys um, are having a little bit of a rough time. <laughs> um, and this is something that will pass, like death cannot, death cannot constantly be present. There has to be rebirth as well. So with death coming through, you are being reborn, but maybe you're still kind of like fully finishing burning down <laughs> as that Phoenix metaphor. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep going here. High Priestess comes through as well. What you don't see here in the dark. Um, this is your, this is intuition, subconscious realm, the shadow parts of Venus. I feel like for some of you, there may be interesting. There may be, um, and what about a third party? Some sort of third party situation could have been a part of your past. Uh, Queen of Wands can symbolize like a third party. What I'm getting from both of these being in the shadow is that for some of you, there may be a situation where there was a third party in a relationship. Could be a friend group, could be romantic. Um, this could be the Six of Cups here where you're pining for better days. It is sequestered to the shadow here right now. The High Priestess holds on to all of this knowledge. Um, but being the veiled portion of, of Venus, I do feel like this is kind of, this is in connection to your connections. More romantic love for, for more of you. I feel like I want a little more information on that, please, spirit. This is the wild unknown tarot. The Son of Wands <clears throat> and Three of Swords there in the bottom. Yeah, heartbreak. Heartbreak and loss. Um, so Son of Wands, this is the Knight of Wands. Um, I do feel actually this is attached to love for whoever this message is for. The Son of Wands is, um, there's a component of it that requests for you to get back up and try again. No matter what's happened in the past. Like this is a horse you were meant to ride. But um, if this is you, this is a, I love that. I mean, I don't love that you had a heartbreak here, but having the Three of Swords there on the bottom, I feel like there was kind of a third party here. Somebody outside of a relationship that pulled somebody else away and left you feeling heartbroken. And this may be, this may be you being stuck and asking for help here too. Like you've just totally shut yourself off to heart connection here. Well, and that was in the meditation too. The evil queen wanting her heart. I feel like um, the message that's coming through on that for me is there is a need to step away from venom. The snake is standing out to me here on the Son of Wands. There's a need to step away from the venom that that hurt in that situation provided you. Was it fair? No. Did you deserve it? No. And um, you also deserve to be in this energy here. The Nine of Cups and the Page of Wands. That wish fulfilled, exciting new journey. Okay? But that's difficult. That's difficult to do if um, mm, you're not accepting the Phoenix magic. <laughs> you have a choice here. Is it going to bring you back to life? Or are you going <laughs> to nap for five more minutes? Five more minutes. <laughs> That's up to you. It's up to you, you guys. Um, yeah, my brokenhearted Aquarius. I love you guys. I know that this isn't an easy trek working on healing this kind of stuff, but it's worth it, okay? And you deserve it. So your challenge, difficult part of this situation. You have Knight of Cups. <laughs> Romance, okay. Got it, got it, got it. So uh, with Merc Mercurius is standing out here, this volatility. Yeah, it seems like... And like I said, what this could be friend, um, family, something happened at work, interpersonal relationships in that way, or romance. 
uh, but something volatile happening and it kind of shaking your heart. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm seeing that symbol that came through. Like I said, it's not quite what I would consider a normal heartbeat. The reason is they're kind of mirrored is what I'm getting. It's almost like you're forcing your heart beat to have a specific signature. Like you're not allowing it to come down. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Up and down is what's standing out there. So what goes up must come down. What goes down must come up. What I'm getting here is there may be you're trying to force yourself to be up. Are you up? Probably not, especially if this is like you're trying to force yourself to be here. There's something about allowing yourself to be down, too. You can't come back up unless you allow yourself to be down. And what I get from that is like fully allowing yourself to go through something. There's something here that's hanging on. That venom, okay? So yeah, Knight of Cups here being in your challenge. I feel like the challenge here is allowing yourself to be open to the idea of romance again, if that's, you know, if that's what you're looking for. And it doesn't even have to be that you are open for a relationship, whether you want to be single or not single. I get this more as like releasing, releasing the uh, venom. Whatever may have jaded you in the past, that needs to go. Regardless of what your goals are in the future, you don't deserve to be carrying that around. You deserve to be high up in the air there, okay? So, uh, Two of Swords comes in to clarify that. A decision needs to be made, you guys. This is your choice. And this is why it's difficult, because it's up to you. Again, with this phoenix here, are you going to hit the snooze button <laughs> while you're being revived? Um, or are you going to allow that to happen? This is your choice. You're at a crossroads here. In order to go up, you must come down. And that means going through something, okay? This three of swords is standing out to me again. In order to pull those swords out wherever this pain has been provided... You have got to go through that experience again fully. And what I'm getting, what's coming up are like a lot of ego responses towards a situation. Like I've been through things too, of course. Um, when you look at, let's say an ex, you know, if you're in a place where you're just constantly, when they come up, there's just anger and maybe wishing them ill or, um, you notice that you start to ruminate on that situation, that is a great indication that that needs to be healed for you. And that's not to say that you can't be angry at somebody, but anger is not, um, anger is a protective emotion. So until you start diving a little bit deeper and allowing those other emotions to be present, like hurt, abandonment, betrayal, there are a lot of emotions that can happen um, in a breakup, especially if you were screwed over, like with a third party or something like that. I'm just getting that it's really important to go back and validate what you're actually feeling instead of allowing the anger. So I see this as like what you're actually feeling versus just letting the anger run rampant. Because that anger, what really is the divine masculine that's protecting the divine feminine, what it is that you're actually feeling. It's okay. It's okay to let that be real, okay? Even just saying out loud, I feel this way, okay, you guys? I feel like this is super helpful for you. Um, so let's finish off here with an Animal Spirit Oracle card, and then I'll move into the Extended. If you guys want to join me there, there are links in the description of the video there. So Spirit, what do we have here for Aquarius? This is the Wild Unknown Spirit spirit animal animal spirit <laughs> the horse a horse is a horse of course so horse here this is um this is actually very potent it's uh i think the book says it's the most masterful form of earth energy so um 
connecting with earth, like literally connecting, getting your feet out in the dirt. I've been doing this um, past few weeks, actually. I've got a grounding mat for my bed, grounding shoes. There is something to this, you guys. <laughs> I highly, highly recommend. It doesn't heal everything. It doesn't solve every problem, but it does allow you to start um, moving th things through that have been blocked. Like I'll go out and sit for 30 minutes at a time with my feet in the dirt and meditate. And the things that uh, come up are things that mm, I haven't really been able to access outside of that kind of connection. This is, the horse here is a, a good blend between physical exercise and spiritual exercise, meditating and breaking a sweat. So in order to take advantage of this very powerful movement kind of energy, the energy that you need or want right now to move through whatever it is you're going through. The request here is to uh, connect with your body and to connect with everything else, the other bodies that are out here, okay? The divine and our earth. Again, I know it sounds simple, um, but it's actually quite powerful. So if you're at a place where you're tired of suffering, try something new, okay? Make a dedicated effort of that, not just like here or there either. Make it a daily practice and see just how much you grow when you allow things to flow, okay? All right, I love you, Aquarius. Thank you guys for joining me here. So I'm gonna move into the extended. Like I said, if you wanna join me, links are in the description. I do have private readings available. You can check that out. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I truly appreciate the support, you guys. And I do accept donations. Um, Cash App and PayPal links are in the description there too. Thank you guys so much to those who do support the channel in that way. It truly does go a long way. I love you, Aquarius, and I will see you all very soon, okay? Take care.